final game of the weekend, the women's final, featuring two proud programs. San Francisco Fury, the four seed this year, looking for their first title since 2012, taking on the two-time defending champion and the two overall seed, Boston Brood Squad. Hoffman looking to the open side. Nobody was there. She gets the reset. Tajima finally has an opening, and it's Sinecro. As elite a thrower as you could find, and not a great throw on the swing and tip by Howard. Looking for somebody. Floats it over Alex Snyder to Juliana Werfeli. And then Werfeli to the end zone off the palm of Cassie Wong bidding, almost surprised she didn't make the grab because we've seen her. And swing, hit, and Rudin tried to clap catch it, and it was smacked away by Murphy. And the question was, does Rubin, Rudin keep it? And it appears everybody agrees that she does. Sending that one into the wind, and it's caught by Howard. Howard missed some of Furious, uh, some of Fury's previous national experiences because of a knee injury that kept her out for a length of time, but she has returned. There's Candy Groom. She thought she had the team. Bree Howard says she was hit in the arm. Groom was hurried 20 yards downfield. Now call over Third turnover of the point gives it back to Boston. Cassie Wong is there. <laughs> Two nothing, Groot Squad. <laughs> quarterback you want in this win. The league can say the same thing about Carolyn Finney. <laughs> Finney rifles it to the end zone too much. Rudin gave everything she had. Finney threw a fastball and a changeup would have been a better choice. First couple of O points for Fury, not nearly as smooth. That just tipped around and finally punched to the ground by Finney. Kane in the teeth of the defense backs with Bentley Taylor. And there's Emerson ripping one. Ludford in the end zone denied. Kayla, I think it's Claire Desmond. Reading it best for the D. Nancy Sutton in her own end zone. Nazarov swing out of the reach of Carrier. Sinecro breaks the mark, finds Hoffman, 3 1 Boston. And Groom. Oh, an unforced error there. Just a simple centering pass with me and the mini goes awry. Brute Squad make Fury pay for the mistake. Sattler, beautiful. And the zoo wasn't really open, but Sattler threw her open. Snyder sets the pivot foot on the goal line. And then wraps the floor around Heath. Three Howard scores, and it's 4-2. And Colton can't make the catch. Boston. Holsters, then fires to the ground. A foul was called. Malinowski was right. She touched her before the throw, but didn't touch her on the throw. This, I couldn't see whether it was on the throw 
Okay. Coming in on six. I love Becky Malinowski's intensity. It's interesting, Megan. So many players in this game have won titles before, including Cammy Groom. What a shot. Angela Zhu with another missile, and Groom runs it down. He's doing a good job of working it around the sides. We'll see if it can convert to stop them as they edge towards the red zone. Well done by San Francisco Fury. Katie Ryan. After a Fury hold, Boston basically goes with its D-line out on the field. Caitlin Lee ahead for Kenny Groom. Backhand bullet. Chelsea Murphy. Still producing, be successful for her team. Off the bat, Snyder launches, looking for Jorgensen. That never had a chance. No angle for Hoffman to get the throw off. Lockford's going. Peggy oh, Rudin bidding for the D. Catch her at your own peril. And a poor execution. And Jorgensen had Rudin open under. Now Fury spent a lot of time working on their marks. You can see the value of that in this situation here. Root squad perseveres. Tajima lasers it in for Emerson. Back to Snyder. Worthily pestering Snyder downfield. Kaler and now Finney to Desmond in pursuit. No. Caitlin Lee with strong legal defense. Zoo forced to fire. Becky <laughs> Rudin, representing Team USA. Snyder wants it. Rudin doesn't even need to bid. Perfect put. Fury holds. 7 5. Sinecro marked by Nazarov. There's Hoffman. Oh, Groom wide open, and Hoffman hits her. Boston steals a no point for Candy Groom and takes half 8 5. Look for Anna Nazaroff to try to raise her game in the second half. Free Howard in pursuit. She was drilled from behind. And she immediately goes to pick up the disc. And Mitch Dengler, who's observing his 100th tournament, will preside. OK, observer ruling, it is a foul. It's your disc. And that was a straddle. She's still not in yet. Alex Snyder shakes free of Emily Bacher. The matchup of veterans. The coach of the Medellin women yep. spent some time with Seattle Sakai. Sure. Took the lessons he learned back and is starting to build an empire in Medellin. Aleja Torres played with Riot. This one whipped to the end zone for Sinecro. Finney launches. That's right on the money. Fletcher chasing Malinowski. Here's Emerson. That just floating high. Lutford try to toe the line. Unable to make the grab of bounds. An opening for Fury. And that is going to work. Seemingly a desperation shot, but when you 
got Blair Desmond reading it. It ups the odds dramatically. Slash teammate during the Boston sweep. Wall. Why not? Tammy Groom. You almost look around, assume there should be a pick call, because how else she could, could she be that wide open? Oh, miscommunication between handlers. The wheel continues to spin. Key Ryan elevates, but unable to haul it in. 15-7 to win their fifth title in eight years. Oh, great defense by King Ryan. Laying out to knock that slash throw away. And it's just not Taylor's point. And she'll lead the USA U24 women's team in Australia this winter. How about Finney's defense? This has Carolyn Finney written all over it, but she's got Candy Groom defending. Finney wins that little battle. Simply makes it as hard as she can. Out there, hassled by Opie Payne, and Sue had nowhere to go. She had to launch it. Lou versus Wong. Carefully to Sadler. Well done by Boston Group Squad. Emily Bacher to Group Squad hold to go up 11 9. Gruden fires. Cooper denied by Douglas. She was taken out of prime position and still managed to make that play. After a great play, an unforced mistake. Two elite handlers provoke the defensive switch. Snyder towing the line. Marked by Hoffman. Finney, laser, down. Fury back within one. Can someone on Fury step up and make a play near the goal line? Oh, <laughs> Andy Grew. And then the yes, Fury's disc. Yes, and Orion spying Nazarov. Well-timed coach from Groom, but that allowed Austin to get open downfield, and then Austin's defender helped out with Cliff Fletcher open, and all of a sudden, we got Austin to the end zone. Schwab resets for Tajima. On the doorstep, Hoffman to Schwab. Nazarov gains yards. Back to Finney. Looking for it all. Peyton Lee up to the task defensively. What a D from Lee. Let's go, D. Well, it's a game to 14, but this feels like desperation time again for Fury as Zoo launches and Jorgensen eats it up. from Werfele, but selling out for the first bait allows Snyder to see Cooper with the open lane to a ball. Emerson hits Schwab. She lost her headband. She takes the shot too tall for Hoffman in the end zone. Fury with a chance to take its first lead of the game. Looking deep for Narayan. Austin there too. To Payne, to the end zone, past the diving to Jima, and into the hands 
of Diana Charrier with the go-ahead goal at 13-12. Spot like this, you always wonder how players will react. Zoo fires deep and Kelly elevates over Opie Payne. 13 all in the finals. Howard into the red zone to root it. Alex Snyder. Finney. Desmond to have in this spot with a disc in your hand and a chance to tie. Oh, Riffley over to Bacher and you see OP Payne has taken a seat. Meanwhile, on the near sideline, you've got Emily Bacher and OP Payne having, I'd say, a heated conversation, but a, a friendly, emotional chat about what happened in that last sequence. Oh, no, but on, like, so you, 